Hey, my name is Lisa Brask and I'm with Brask. Hey, my name is Thomas and I'm with Brask. Hello, my name is Mass and I'm with Brask. Hello and welcome to Dine Audio Unheard. My name is Christopher and I'm your host. Today we've started the Dine Audio Unheard mobile studio and the first artists to play in there are Brask. Hello guys, welcome. Hey. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Um, no problem. So, you were the very first people to actually go into the studio and have a, a go at it. What did it uh, feel like? Well, um, it, uh, it was a great feeling. This uh, all brand new studio yeah. that uh, Dino Audio made. Uh, uh, I didn't hear about it before today that uh, there was something like this. Yeah. Uh, but uh, when I came in, it was cozy, it was good, it was a great feeling standing in there. Yeah, and, yeah. and working with a, an amazing producer like Ashley Shepard that we flew in from, uh, from the US. What yeah. was that experience like? Uh, that was a really good experience, nice guy. Yeah. Um, just uh, guiding us through the process, mm. uh, because it's all new, we don't know what, well, where do we have to stand, where do we have to plug in our guitars. No. Or, so he was very good at guiding <laughs> us. You know, he he was like, "Hey guys, so I'm Ashley, yeah, and uh, you gotta do this, this, and this, and let's rock let's and roll." Let's rock and roll, yeah. yeah. And um, I guess it's. I saw you were having a little bit. Uh, you don't know where to plug your your speed, uh, your guitar in. But I mean, it's a brand new experience for for us as well, right? It's yeah. the very first time, and and it it seemed like everything worked perfectly. And you got to record a couple of your your tracks in there. Mm -hmm. uh, any specific numbers that uh, or songs that you uh, you played? Yeah, um, we played two songs, and um, one of them is uh, is kind of special yeah. to us. Uh, the one called "Tell Me." Uh, actually, "Tell Me" was written three days ago. Okay. Um, at uh, our whole town, uh, Ranas. Mm -hmm. We uh, we play at at uh, at the jam where we meet, uh, and then we were playing all these cover songs, and sometimes you have this this spark where you just okay, I want to do something that's different. Mm -hmm. So I just started picking my guitar, like finding finding some chords, and okay okay I do this, and then I look at mass. I looked at Thomas and, and, and just started playing. Yeah, then we actually jammed. Yeah. 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 Uh, and that fucker just makes up the lyrics as it goes along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I just had to shoot from the hip. Yeah. Uh, what I was uh, what I was seeing, what I was, what was feeling, was what's going on in my personal life, all these things that you go with all day. Yeah. Uh, and just just. But where, but where do you you're talking about your personal life now? Where do you find the inspiration to come up with a new track? Uh, well, a lot of it depends on on um, on the the mu mu musicians that I play with. Mm. In case these two great guys, <laughs> um, because um, it's they are so in. Inspiring to play with. Uh, when Thomas do this, okay, okay. And so if you do this, I do this, yeah. and then he thinks, what are they doing? And then, <laughs> and then I have to do something. Uh, so it's it's uh, it's it's like we are in sync, um, just playing yeah. with things and. And learning from e each other. And I mean, all of this is is pretty new. You learned about Dine Audio her, uh, on her today, and one of the tracks you made, uh, you you yeah. created that yeah. three days ago. Yeah. Uh, that's gone really quickly then. Really, really, really quickly, because we have been uh, out playing for three days now. Yeah. Uh, straight, and then we we came home 6 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I came home 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And then Thomas called me and said, do you want to play today? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Where? At Smokefest. Yes, sign oh, me up. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go. What do we have to do? Where do we have to play? And we, for, 
four hours ago we didn't know we would be here no. so it's just very spontaneous yeah cool i uh, i want to go back a little to yeah. to the song that we were talking about tell me yeah so to me i'm not an, a musician at all so one of the things that when i hear good music in the radio or hear about a new track i always wonder when do you actually know that you have a good song well i know i have a good song um it just feels right yeah, yeah when it feels right and you know the arms uh, the hair on my arms is racing yeah, standing and, up and i cl i i close my eyes and and just okay that's some kind of flow mm. that speaks to me um that's when it f when it feels right um you're not looking for any sort of specific uh, uh, sensation or feeling it just it comes to you naturally it comes all natural yeah just playing around and then you find maybe a melody that you like okay and then you keep working on that mm. and sometimes you fail yeah yeah yeah, sure. yeah yeah but but some but sometimes it's just right at the first time so that's when you know it's right because mm. okay this didn't work so it di it don't got the flow it don't speak speak to me um but sometimes again you make a song specifically with the three of us you start doing oh, yeah. you you start doing something and then thomas will fill in on the drums and all right we got something good here yeah. even though it's something we tried before that failed but then we try something new and then all of a sudden just clicks and mm. you just know when it's there and i mean But you you probably have to spend a lot of hours in this in in you know your practice uh, room and just figuring out playing around oh this sounds cool now what if you do like this well i know you do it a lot <laughs> you have a guitar in every single fucking room in your <laughs> apartment and so do i so you just play every time you got a spare five minutes yeah. and then sometimes something comes along and thank god for technology mm. so you can just record it on your phone so you never forget it yeah, yeah. and uh, can i go a, a little bit back to the inspiration thing mm. uh according to this also um uh, when we have been playing uh, for the weekend and you come to sunday and you know oh you're tired and i have this i go to uh, go to one of the places that we play where i have the the keys mm. and it's close it's, it's just me so i lock myself in and there in the bar there is an old upright piano built in and then i go up at night and i sit there playing and then i think about all the things that happened this weekend mm. in the, in the tour van to yeah do this or or uh, or if i had my girlfriend with me uh, on tour and she was just very nice But that so must be i mean just a really special moment for you yeah. having the uh, the option of going down there sitting at a piano yeah. and expressing yeah. yourself yeah because this room that i am in this is where a lot of my music was made for yeah. me uh, and where i had a lot of, of great memories so i can look around this room okay this is where i wrote this song yeah. that night with thomas or mess or so so it's also the in environment that you're in that gives a lot of inspiration and just to me you, you're spending so much time here right you have all of the memories all across mm. that must be so inspiring because you can tap into old emotions as well right yeah 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 you can uh, it's you know sometimes you just face away mm. uh, and and just like makes a story while you're playing in your head yeah. uh, most of of my song i'm i am a guitarist but i write my my songs on the piano because it's just easier to make a story in your mm. head uh, it's, you know sometimes you just got a little tear you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah it touches you in a lot of different ways yeah so before i let you go you gotta enjoy the rest of cali yeah. uh, here at smoke fest uh, for the rest of the day i hope but before i let you go guys you've been doing music for a while now 
And I'm hoping that on the other side of this, on the other side of the camera, mm -hmm. we have some aspiring artists that want to come out and really try and break through with their music. So if we were to give them some advice, you know, before you start your music career, what would your best advice to these aspiring artists be? I would say uh, you need to have a lot of fun. Yeah. You need to find the, the kind of uh, musician you are. You have to have um, your emotions intact. You have to um, be true to yourself mm. as an artist and just keep on working. You'll have a lot of ideas. Some are bad, some are good, and some are just plain fun. Yeah. yeah. And number two must be that you can write a song on your own but it is the teamwork that makes it work. Mm. So when you're sitting home as an inspiring new artist, when you have something you think that's good, show it to someone. Yeah. And let them also give their take yeah, on cont it. Yeah, contribute, right? Yeah, contribute, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and just be yourself yeah. all the way through. Yeah. Don't compromise with what you want to do. For instance, Take us for instance, look at these two and then me. I'm a heavy head, <laughs> but still, we mix well yeah. Yeah, we and got a unique sound because my bass sound and way of playing directly from heavy. We are so different. Mm. So different. But it works, so be yourself all the way through. Don't I compromise. I think that's perfect, and I think we should end on that. Yeah. Always be yourself. Yes. If I can. Sure. Yeah. And never say no. If anyone's got I mean, an idea, <laughs> yeah. idea, yeah. go with it. Maybe it's good. Mm. Most of the time it's pretty bad. <laughs> and you don't like it. But maybe that one idea will be the, the big one. And maybe you miss it if you say no. Always try. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe it'll be cool. Mm. So just try. And I mean, if try, you had said try. no four hours ago, yeah. you wouldn't have been here, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, with that said, thank you so much, guys, for, uh, guys, for joining us. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Yeah, yeah sure. It was a pleasure. And um, stay tuned. Uh, in an hour, we'll have our next guests, Lillevang, who will talk to about their music. They're hip hop musicians. They're going to play over the recording studio. So stay tuned. And thank you for joining us. Tell me.